Like many things involving winter, this project, run by Avivo, a group based in Minneapolis to end homelessness and provide recovery and career advancements, is under a time crunch. We look outside and we see that it's snowing. You know, I mean, we're, we're consistently thinking about the importance of this project being effective and efficient and opening on time. Emily Bastian, the vice president of the Ending Homelessness Initiative at Avivo, says they're working as fast as they can to provide what they're calling indoor villages. A warehouse filled with these structures so people have some place to go. Providing privacy, the availability to somewhat socially distance, safety, and most importantly, dignity. Every individual will have their own tiny home structure. And so it will be more like a neighborhood or a community where yes, we're indoors, but everyone has their own space. And so people are not sleeping in cots next to each other or bed mats next to each other. To be located somewhere in the North Loop neighborhood, Bastion says they'll be offering more than just housing. Career jump-starting resources will also be available. Once people do have an opportunity to be housed and be safe and be warm, especially in Minnesota, um, they just naturally start to think about what's next for them and what their goals and their dreams and their wishes are. And housing, you know, permanent supportive housing is, is a right for everyone. And, and people don't want to just stay in a warehouse. They want to move into housing. They want to obtain employment. They want to reunify with family. They want to meet any sorts of goals, just like what you and I have. Bastion says the 100 units have been funded by the CARES Act and will help Minneapolis help those who are most vulnerable. Because of COVID and because of kind of civil unrest in the Twin Cities, uh, the homeless community is more visible now, I think, than it has been before, but it's not it's not new at all. And yes, it is time that we increase the creative opportunities for people that are experiencing homelessness. And according to the most recent 2020 point in time count done for Minneapolis and Hennepin County, around 3,050 people are experiencing chronic or temporary homelessness with 642 of them unsheltered. That count was actually done in January, so the need is absolutely great. Bastion says Avivo is now in the works of securing the actual warehouse and they hope to start moving people in by December.